Hello, and welcome to the second video of this video series, How to Use the Salesforce IQ Migration Tool. In this video, we're going to discuss how to structure your data in Salesforce IQ before using the Salesforce IQ Migration Tool. Before we get started, one thing I recommend is to perform an org export out of Salesforce IQ. I recommend this because this way you have a historical record of how your data lives today before you make any modifications for the tool. To do this, we are going to jump into our settings and we're going to click on the general tab. You will see a start export button in the middle of the page. Click this button to begin the export. This should only take a few minutes, and once it is complete, you will receive an email notification notifying you that the export is finished. You can also refresh the page here to keep an eye on the progress. Now that we've done that, let's take a look at this slide one more time to remind ourselves where data is going to go in Salesforce after the migration. All opportunity list information is going to be migrated to the opportunity object. All lead list information is going to go to the lead object. All of our account property information over to the account object. And lastly, all contact properties are going to go to the contact object. Let's go back into Salesforce IQ, and I'm going to double check to make sure that my data is clean by cleaning up any duplicates that I see and by filling in any blank cell values that need to be filled in. I also want to make sure that all this information is the information I want to go to my opportunity object, and if I want any of it to go to any other object that I take the necessary actions to make that happen. So in my list here, you'll see the name of my opportunities over on the far left, the statuses next to those, the opportunity owner, and revenue. This all looks great. I also see every single one of these cells contains a value, so we are good to go here. Inactive days in days and current status once again will not be migrated over. Salesforce does not support intelligence fields at this time. Now looking at the rest of this information, one field catches my eye, the industry field. This is great information to have on my opportunity object, but this is also something I want to live on the account object as well. As a reminder, the account object and the opportunity object are displayed as page layouts in Sales Cloud. I would like to be able to easily see the industry information without needing to click into the opportunity every time. So let's make this happen. In Salesforce IQ, click into your settings, and then we're going to go into account properties. For the industry information to migrate over to the account object, we need to create an account property first. Click on text and then type in the word industry. Now go back to your opportunity list and we're going to add this new field by clicking on add field account industry. Now that industry is displayed on the list, we can do a simple copy and paste, control C, control V, and we're done. We can then delete this field from our list And when I click into the Avocado Incorporated account profile, you can see that industry is now an account property. I want to walk through one more example of this. An account property that I notice is missing is the owner field. In Sales Cloud, you can see that you have an account owner as well as an opportunity owner. In Salesforce IQ, if you click into the list, you can see that you have an opportunity owner, but there's no information about who owns the account on the account property page. Because of this, when you use a migration tool, all the account owners are going to default to the admin who is importing this data. However, thank goodness there's an easy fix for this after the migration, which we'll go over in another video. In this video, however, we need to make sure that we set ourselves up for success, so just like for the industry field, we need to create an account property for our owner field. So let's walk through this one more time. I'm going to go into my settings, go into account properties, and create a text field called Salesforce IQ account owner. I'm going to go back into my opportunities list, and I'm going to add this field to our list.
Once again, with a simple copy and paste, we have account owners. We can go ahead and delete this field as well. So to check my work, I'm going to go back into the Avocado Incorporated account profile page to make sure that this change took.